torpedo will follow the same course we're on. So keep a sharp lookout, Red. Okay, Doc. Doc, look. That's it, Red. Unlimber the gun. Okay. Pounder won't even dent it. I know. Ramming's the only thing that'll stop him. Throw out that life belt, Red, and jump in. Nothing doing. I'm sticking with you, Dom. That's an auto, Lieutenant Pennington. Aye, aye, sir. Red. Explosion, Captain Parity. Not yet, Mr. Splendor. I've sent a boat out to investigate. There seem to be a couple of men swimming out there. Bridge, Captain Fairfield speaking. Oh, good. Let me know as soon as it's ready. That was the relief operator. He'll have the radio fixed in about an hour. Oh, fine. Sir, Spark says the Baratavia doesn't answer. Tell him to keep trying. To let me know if he has any luck. Aye, aye, sir. So you see, gentlemen, the only way to stop the human torpedo was to ram it. You not only saved my ship, Commander Winslow, but the lives of these skilled workers and a cargo of supplies and equipment. You know, Don, this human torpedo thing sounds to me like the shenanigans of the Scarfia. You could have made sure the crook who killed your operator and wrecked the radio hadn't made us escape. He's still somewhere aboard the ship. Then we're going to find him. How? Nobody saw him. I think I found a clue, Don. What is it, Brad? Well, this sailor says he saw one of the passengers acting suspiciously around the radio room just before Sparks was killed. Tell your story, sailor. I was hurrying after to read the log, sir, when I saw someone sneak up and look through the radio room window. He had something in his hand, but it was covered with a handkerchief. He heard me coming and ducked out of sight around the cabin. Did you follow him? It was time to read the log, and you know what that means, sir. Did you see his face? I, uh... Could you identify him? If you line up the passengers, I'm sure I could. Oh, I picked this up for understanding. You must have dropped it. Your hunch was right, Mike. Is the Scorpion all right? This proves the letter on this ship is working for the Scorpion. I've heard of the Scorpion. Isn't he some sort of legendary spy master? Spy genius, Captain. And he's no legend. Blast his height. We now know who the Scorpion's gang is working for. You can bet their biggest job is to prevent our Navy building a submarine base on Tangita Island. Right. That makes it more urgent than ever that we capture the murderer aboard this ship. Well, I don't know how we can identify him now. He. Uh, I wait. think I do, Captain. Again, by checking the cold messages received by passengers aboard this ship. That'll do it, laddie. When we've found him, the first thing we'll make him do is tell us where the Scorpion's headquarters are located on Tangier. The Scorpion is ready to speak.
message M22. I cannot tolerate failures. The Veritavia must be sunk before her cargo is unloaded. Use a submarine. Winslow is holding a passenger aboard ship, placing Bersack in constant danger of discovery. Winslow must not reach him. My orders to capture Winslow and hold him a prisoner must be obeyed. <laughs> Scorpion's right. Baratavia must be sunk before Winslow finds out about Barzak. Get the Z-52 ready. Sorry, M-22, but both submarines will be tied up until our undersea oil well is repaired. The perfect sub base. The entrance hidden from the sea. Enough oil on the ocean floor to refuel an entire navy. Now it's useless. I don't want excuses. Have that oil well operating within the next 24 hours. the last the radio message is sent from Pearl Harbor by Trans-Pacific, sir. Oh, here's the complete list of names from Captain Holding, Don. Chapman, tell Lieutenant Pennington to step in here. Aye, aye, sir. Mercedes, my hunch is right. There's one message listed by the Baratavia as having been sent by Trans-Pacific, which is not on Holding's list. What does that mean, Don? Well, it means it must have been sent from a secret radio station. Did you uncover something, Don? Yes, Red. We can have Captain Fairfield release his passengers. Then there was no one at all on the list you could suspect as the murderer? On the contrary, there was. And his name is Paul Barsack. Great, I'll arrest him at once. No, no, wait a minute, Red. We won't do anything to let him know we've spotted him. But we'll have him followed from the minute he leaves the ship. There's a very good chance that he'll lead us to the Scorpion's headquarters here on Tangier. Barzak's got to be warned. I'll meet him at the boat. No, no, he has instructions to go to the Pacific Hotel. We'll contact him there through Tangier's gym. Fred just told us you're releasing the passengers on the Baratavia. That's right. That's good news, Commander. I need those skilled workmen to keep going on the new naval base. Mr. Blake's already three weeks behind schedule. Oh, I'm sorry to hold you up, Blake. But it's important that we get a line on the Scorpion's gang. Now, I... Red found out Barsak has reservations at the Pacific Hotel. He's trailing him there. The Pacific Hotel? It's the only hotel on the island, Commander. Run by a half caste by the name of Tangita Jim. I have a room there. I was just going over to freshen up a bit. Misty, do me a favor. Stay away from the hotel for the rest of the day. Anything you say, Don. Mike, you get up there as quickly as you can. And tell Red... Reservations for Barsack? Paul Barsack? Oh, yes, Mr. Barsack. Tangina Jim has the best room of the hotel. Miss Gay, Misty Gay, is she in? Sorry, sir, but she left early this morning. To meet her here? Well, you can uh, wait if you like. Thanks. So key, Mr. Barzak, number 18. I hope your stay in Tangita will be a pleasant one. Thank you. I'm sure it will. to report. I couldn't help it, M-22. They held us all on board ship. Thanks to your bungling of the job, I followed your orders to the letter. Yes, I suppose you did. I didn't figure on Winslow's interference. His red-headed friend followed me here. I fully expected Winslow to have you followed. All right. Tell Don I spotted Barsack here at the hotel and to come right over. All right, Red. You take the car. I'll wait here.
Well, quite a striking resemblance. Looks enough like you to throw Winslow off the trail. Yeah, and put me on the spot. Not if you're smart, Corley. And lead Winslow into a trap, as we planned. Has anything happened? No, he's still inside. Good. Take the car and pick up Mike on the wharf. I may need him. He's heading for that jungle trail. You've got to stop him. No. He's probably heading for that hut where Red and I had the fight. When he comes back with Mike, tell them to wait here. Following Corley. He thinks Corley is bossing. Thanks, Jim. Our oh, little scheme worked. Good. Now we can get out of here. I'm anxious to get to your headquarters. Take that brown car. Follow the coast road. Does that lead to the mine? No. I'll be waiting for you on the road at Lookout Point. Well, that shouldn't be hard to find. I'll be careful you're not followed. You know what it means if Winslow finds out that the mine is in any way connected with the Scorpion? Why don't you let me finish off that nosy commander? No. The Scorpion is reserving that pleasure for himself. Winslow must be taken alive. Now go ahead. Be sure to give me plenty of time before you follow. Put a mat over him. You keep close guard over him. I've got to report to M22. How are you going to keep him here? M22 will decide that. Your job is to see that nobody comes anywhere near this hut. Nobody will. Slug, you come with me. Are you sure this is the right trail? Yeah, we'll be spotting the hut soon. But I am worried about not meeting Don. Ah, uh, that hot-headed young Spalpeen. He had no business to chase that murdering crook through this jungle alone. Well, I hope he didn't lose sight of Barsack. There's the hut, Mike. That divot in front of it makes me think something's happened to Don. We gotta find out. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta trick that crook. You sneak around in back of the hut. I'll give you plenty of time, then I'll open up with a barrage from the gun. When you hear me shooting, close in. Okay, Mike. Drop your gun. 
Red, red, in here. Mike, no use following him. That jungle's too thick. Come on, down inside. Red, under the mat. Don. Good boy, Red. Get me out of this. Don, my boy. Looks like you walked right into a trap. They sure put one over on us that time. Yeah. And it was cleverly done. That wasn't Barsack I followed. I got you. I think you were right. I know I'm right. Listen. We've got to get back to the hotel and pick up the trail of the real Barsack. Right. I'm leaving. You can send my stuff over to headquarters. All right, Barsack. But be careful they don't follow you. I don't understand. Another bar sack came out of the hotel, got into a car, and drove down the coast road. That was the real bar sack. Let me have the car, Mercedes. I'm going after that crook. Now you're talking, laddie. We'll catch him. No, no, Mike. You and Red follow me in another car and keep me covered. Our friends have a habit of shooting in the back. Barzak now. Get away without being followed? That girlfriend of Winslow spotted me as I left the hotel. You bungled again. She'll send someone after you. Well, if she does, they won't find Barzak alive. Get that can of gasoline out of the car. What for? Never mind. Get it. Now pour it over that car. the wrecked car at the bottom of the cliff and think Barzak was killed. Come on. Same course we're on. So keep a sharp lookout, Red. Okay, Don. Don, look. That's it, Red. I'm limber the gun. Okay. It. I know. Ramming's the only thing that will stop him. Throw out that life belt, Red, and jump in. Nothing doing. I'm sticking with you, Don. That's an order, Lieutenant Pennington. Aye, aye, sir. 